Hello everyone, welcome. What we'll be doing in this particular video, we'll be writing a Python program to check if a number is even or odd in Python, right? So fairly simple, what I help you understand is very quickly. So for example, let's say, uh, how do you calculate if a number mathematically, if a number is even or odd, it's fairly simple that you divide that particular number, let's say 30 by two. And after all the operations, if the remainder eventually is zero, that is, it is perfectly divisible by two, right? So in that case, you say that the number is even, correct? Now, uh, same thing. So for example, in the case 21 divided by two, we do so eventually so on, so on, we'll divide it. And then the remainder here would be one. And since the remainder is not equal to zero, which is why we say that the number is not even, it is an odd number. So simple. If it is perfectly divisible, that is the remainder is zero, then the number is even. Apart from that, it's odd. Now, what, for that, we use a special operator called as percentage operator. Now, just like plus, minus, divide, minus, uh, multiply, these are mathematical operators to do addition, subtraction, division, and multiplication. We have an operator called as remainder operator. So, so this is called as remainder. You can even call it as percentage and you can even call it as modulus operator, right? So, uh, you know, different languages have different context. Generally, you call it as a, a remainder operator, right? Uh, so what would happen is this particular operator, what it does is it just simply gives you the remainder. So for example, in the case of 21 percentage two, the only thing that this would return would be the remainder that is one. And is that equal to zero? No, it is not. So which is why we'll say it is odd. Simply in the case of 30, 30 percentage two, it'll just say zero and which is equal to equal to zero. So in that case, we'll say even. Now this remainder operator, so for example, let's say if you do 23 percentage five. So in that case, it will simply give the remainder again, which is three in this case. And then we'll play around with that. So let's have a, have a look upon the code with which we'll understand there are multiple strategies on how you can solve this. So here, what we are doing here is we've created a variable called as num. We are giving the user a prompt that enter a number. So this asks the user that, okay, enter a number. So input is taken from the user. Now, what happens is since ideally in Python, the input that's taken is by default a string input. So we need to convert that string input into integers. So it will basically be taking as 49 as string, as character. We need to convert this 49 into 49 of integer type, right? So which is why we use this int function to convert it. Now, simply what we are doing here is we are using num percentage two is that equal to equal to zero. So fairly simple. So let's say if the number is 48, 48 percentage two, this value will return zero. So zero equal to equal to zero true. So this particular line will get implemented and we'll say that the given number is even. I'll just run the program also for you side by side. Right. Now, let's say if the number was something else. So for example, let's say 27. Right. So 27 percentage two. So in that case, what will happen is uh, it'll be returning one is one equal to equal to zero. No, it's not. So this next line will not get implemented and we will implement else part of it. Purely simple. So what happens is if this particular statement is true, we implement this line. And if this particular statement is not true, then we implement whatever is there in the else part of the code. Right. So it's really simple. What you can also do is, so if I put backslash n backslash n, our output would be a little better. So what I also want to highlight for the time being is there are multiple methods. In fact, there are three methods on how you solve it. There's ternary operator, there's bitwise operator. So what ternary operator does is, as you can see here, there are, uh, here, as you can see here, okay. So let me just put backslash n here one more time. So here there are four lines. What the ternary operator did was it reduced those four lines to just one single line. So you can read a little more about it and then further on you will understand how do we work through it. Uh, then there's one more method called as bitwise operator. I recommend you to check that uh, and uh, uh, this particular page can be found from let's say Google prep and start top 100 from that just go to even an odd number and just go to Python and from here you'll be able to check this page out. 
So thank you so much. I'll see you ahead in the next video. So we just launched Prep and Stuff Prime subscription, which is like 150 plus courses under one subscription. So it has courses like C, C++, Java, Python, Artificial Intelligence, Machine Learning, Cyber Security, Data Structures, Comparative Coding, even company specific courses like TCS, NQT, Infosys, TCS Digital, Amazon, etc. The link is in the description of the video. Go check that out. I'm sure that you'll love that.